Okay, so I'm just going to show you some more of these, um, you know, exercises, applied exercises, really. Um, okay, so applied exercise meaning, you know, taking an exercise and actually trying to do something with it as opposed to something that's random. So, again, drawing a person and, you know, it's still going to use the, the ellipse tool. You know, when you get really good at doing, you know, these, these individual ellipses, and by really good at it, meaning you don't just get it done once. That's the thing. Some people will do an exercise once, and they'll get it right once. And sometimes it's a fluke. You know, I, I do these until it becomes, you know, relatively easy. You know, I, until I can, I can tell, until I can, I do them until I can pull them off in front of, a, in front of an audience. I do them in, until I can pull them off, you know, on camera. You know, under duress. Um, this is why I, you know, this is why I practice something so simple. This is why I have such a simple approach. It's because I need something that's reliable, um, reliable under fire. Okay. So anyway, these are all just. I'm just using a few ellipses to indicate everything. But um, if you really want to see how good you are, um, you really want to test yourself. Then it becomes a matter of trying to see if you can do this without lifting the pen from the page. And as you can see, it's much, for me, it is a lot harder to do this because I now have to, I have to think ahead. I have to really look at where I intend to go. And I have to think about, you know, the, the limb orientations before I, you know, just squiggle in and, and, and do them. Um, let's try another. Whoops, I did the wrong thing. Okay, let's try this again. You know, you, you might be able to do an exercise where you make a few hoops that turn around and do this, but then you need to be able to sweep them around. And you keep on practicing this and trying different ways until you can do it and it's easy. And I'll still say it's not easy. <laughs> it's a simple thing, <laughs> but you know, it's it is not easy because it took me a long time to get used to doing this. You have to eat, breathe, sleep, shit this stuff. And and I'm I'm not kidding because I used to do this stuff when I was eating. I used to, you know, take a sketchbook and, and practice this stuff when I was eating. I, I used to um, practice this stuff just before I went to sleep and just bef just after, you know, just after I woke up. I had a sketchbook, you know, on my nightstand. And I would fill up pages and pages and pages because you can see how every time I do one of these, you know, I'm, I'm just using up whatever available space there is, whatever little gaps there are. I'll just do a smaller one, you know. So And, and yeah, I would take a, a sketchbook into the crapper. Just because, you know, hey, that's some good drawing time right there. You do it when you're waiting for people. You do it when you're, you know, um, on the bus. When you do it on, on the streetcar, train, everywhere. Uh, that's how you get good at something. Is that you just, it's non-stop. And that's the only way. It's You need to train very intensely to be able to do this sort of thing. So, drawing people. You know, if I can, if I can... Turn if I can turn this this there. See, I'll have a few limbs that come towards the camera, but I'll have some that go across just you know for the variety. I might have some that I'm not really trying to pose the character at this time. You see how easy it is for me to just go in there and
somebody asked me about guidelines you know how do you how do you treat guidelines well to me guidelines are, are sort of an appro they're an approximation they're they're not necessarily exact but whenever I draw it's never just you know oh I swing swing the pen around and it makes amazing you know it makes amazing artwork oh gosh I really wish it was that way but it does it isn't that way um, I have to imagine something that is not there and that's hard you gotta imagine something that's not there and when you can see it in your head you know when you can imagine it well the problem is you know how do you retain that how do you if you imagine something you have to be able to remember that little bit so drawing you know when you put a mark you know if I if I if I imagine that there's something right here you know I'll put a dot down to remember that hey it's there you know I'll, I'll, if I if I imagine you know that there's I feel like there's a foot around here I can kind of see it so you know then I that guides me that puts make, tells me that I should put a marking there I can kind of see the rest of the foot here so I'll I'll put the line that's why I, I seem to have this confidence because I can I can see you know I think the heel should be here you know I think I can kind of imagine what the rest of the foot looks like so you know so I so drawing making these markings on the page this is just um, it's just a way of remembering things it's like when you do it's like when you're counting right you know when you're counting you can't you, you gotta you gotta keep your place you know you can't quite remember how you know how many you've you've counted up so you do this kind of thing you make markings on the page to remember things that's what it is you try to imagine something and then you indicate it you write it down you take a note so you don't forget it um, it's not like you just take notes with nothing in your head <laughs> right you take notes of nothing if you're just dragging the pen around you have to use your mind you have to you have to imagine this stuff and, and that's that's where you know that is the, the the invisible art that's the thing that the other people don't see they only see the pencil lines they don't see your thoughts when they don't you can't see my thoughts when I'm thinking um, you know, I, 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 can, I, can, I can try another exercise. You know, there's this uh, exercise with the boxes. You know, even if, I, even if I didn't use boxes, let's say I was just using planes. Okay, just a, just a bunch of planes. And just making, controlling their path through space. See, whether it's a box, a hoop, a plane, a line, doesn't matter what it is, you still have to be able to control its path through space. You still need to be able to swing it around. Swing it around. That's, that, that's, that, in, that is the real skill. It's not, I can draw a box. It's not, I can draw a hoop. It's a, I can draw anything and I can swing it around. It means that even if I wanted to, I can take something as stupid as a line and imagine this line and swing this little line around. You know, that in itself is a very important skill. Because when you can swing these things around, then you can under, if you can understand the flow of a person's pose, you know, the swing of the pose, then drawing is possible. Being able to visualize this this swing and then align, you know, an object to it. and then change its size, you know, in proportions to match whatever it is you're trying to draw. A lot of people will get into, you know, a rut and they say, oh, I don't seem to understand proportions. That's not the problem. The problem is you can't control the proportions as you swing it through space. So, I hope this helps.